everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I want to show you how to create your pie charts that you're going to be using with your infographics. Last week, I told you about the pie charts that come along with Microsoft PowerPoint. And if you feel comfortable using them, you certainly can. But I mentioned the fact that I didn't like them because of the bounding box that PowerPoint adds to the specific graphic. Now, when I'm talking about bounding box, I'm talking about this box here. So let me get a little bit closer so you can see what I mean. As you can see, the pie chart is encased inside of this bounding box. And I really don't like it because specifically, when I want to make this bounding box smaller, look what happens. It makes my donut smaller, and that's not what I want. So rather than use the ones that come along with PowerPoint, I tend to create my own. And a lot of people shy away from that because they feel that it's hard to do. And it really isn't. So let me show you how quickly we can get our very own pie chart created. So the first thing you want to do is go up to Insert, go over to Shapes, and in the second area here, pick the thing that says Donut. Now let me make this donut a little bit bigger so we can work with it. Let's right click on it and go to size. We want to make sure that we create our second part of it the same size. So let's go down to size and let's change the size to 3.00 on both sides. Once we've done that, we can put it into position here. Now let's go back up to insert and pick shapes again and then pick the, the half donut. Draw that on the screen as well. And again, we want to right click on there and we want to set the size to the same exact size that we created for this one. So that's 3.00. Now to allow us to work with these separately and they're not the same color, let's go back in and change our fill in line color. So this is the one that's going to be on top. This is the one that's going to show your percentages. So let's go to line color and say no line and change the fill of that to this deep red. On this one, let's keep the line color, but let's change it to black. And then go down to fill again, and let's change this. Let's pick this green color. Now, in order to work with this properly so that our top donut portion fits the way we want it to, we have to do two things to it. First, we want to flip it. So let's go to Format, Rotate, and let's flip it vertically. Then go back to Rotate and say Rotate Left 90 Degrees. Now, the reason why we do this is because it has little nodules on it. The one on the outside here is the one that helps us decipher what sort of percentage we want. The one on the bottom is actually used to make the donut thinner or wider. So we always want to make sure that when we create our donuts, especially the top portion, we want this percentage node to be on the outside. It makes it a lot easier to work with. Now, what happens if we want to create a pie chart that's more than two colors? Well, that's very easy too. So the thing that we have to do about that is let's take this one to 25%. From the top to the side is 25%. Now, what happens if we want to add a third percentage to this for another 25%? Well, then take this, this red one, and let's right-click and copy, and then hit Control-V on your keyboard and paste it. Let's go in here to change the color to gold so we can see what we're working with, and place that back into position. Now, the nodule on the outside is the actual nodule that's going to help us create the size for this, so let's take it down to 50%, but because we want to show that the yellow portion is also 25%, we're going to right click on this and we're going to tell it to send it backward. And that will place it behind the red one. So now you actually have a pie chart that shows 25% red, 25% yellow, and 50% green. And it makes it very easy to work with because now you can take all these shapes and combine them together we can go up to Format, say Group, and group them. And now it's one entire piece. Now if I want to shrink it, I can do so. And as you can see, I really don't lose any consistency on this pie chart, and it works rather well. 
So that's how you create a pie chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, before I go, I want to let you know this entire template is something that I purposely created just for you today. And it will be available on my website as a free download. So make sure you grab a copy and use this template to place your information inside of these white areas. And once you have your information in there, you can always delete the white portion. You don't have to keep it. But this will give you an easier way to put your infographics together and you know exactly where to place your information. So until we meet again in the next video, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.